Stefania in her natural habitat, spitting hair out of her mouth, which is why she doesn't have friends. Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel. So today we are going to do a shoulder and hip workout. I thought this would be good for me, good for you, because lunge shoulders are my absolute favorite to do. In general, it has taken me years to grow a resemblance of a shoulder. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. And so let's go ahead and get into this workout. Don't forget to subscribe before we get started. I really appreciate it. We're going to do a little bit of hit in this workout as well because I need to burn some calories. I did start my cut a few weeks ago, so now we're adding on some extra cardio. Can you tell by my face? Not my favorite. Uh, but we are going to do it anyway. So let's power through, get in that pre-workout, and let's go get started. All right, guys. So I did want to talk real quick before we get started. Make sure on the lifting portions of this exercise, these exercises, this workout, that you're taking your time on the lifting portion. I'm not rushing through the lifting portion, I'm rushing through the hit time. So the time that you're doing the actual cardio portions where you're supposed to go fast, like all out, do it. But the lifting parts, take your time, make sure you're breathing, try to increase those weights. It's the purpose is to get stronger. It's not just going through the motions. So just making sure that you're actually take a breath, like focus on what you're supposed to be working and don't worry about you know, the time, because I feel like that's kind of where people get stuck sometimes. Um, you're here, do the workout, and actually slow it down and get the best benefit you can. Okay, enough rambling, let's go. Okay, so uh, obviously my audio was a little bit off in some of these clips. My water spilled on it, so it fixes itself, but believe me, it annoys me just as much. So we're gonna start with a wide grip shoulder press. So. Make sure you're sitting into your hips a little bit for this. You're going to go a little bit wider than usual. I'm bringing it down to the tip of my nose and straight back up. So you're going to sit into your hips so that you don't overextend that back. You shouldn't be feeling it in your back at all. And make sure you're keeping your core nice and tight. And then you're going to just do a warm-up set and increase the weight. Three sets of ten. And we're also going to do a super set for this exercise. I was like, geez, this is so strong. And then I realized like there's a 10 pound weight and a 25 pound weight. And I'm not doing that on purpose. Like, I don't know. <laughs> oh. Okay, so today you are going to, you, we, me and you, we're gonna do uh, toe taps on a higher surface. So I'm gonna use a bench. If you are a little bit too scared to go up that high, then use a ball, like a med ball or anything that's raised. Um, make sure you're drinking water. I feel like I don't mention that. I had a goal of drinking this whole thing today, but uh, now that I spilled over half of it, my goal has gotten easier. No, I should still drink more. <laughs> Anyways, though, so, uh, if I fall, just ignore me. This happens to me a lot. It's not new. Even my sister once, she went running and she fell in wet cement, and I was like, that was the best story ever. She's like, I just kept running. She's like, there's no way I was gonna make eye contact with like any of the people around. So if you fall or mess up, just remember in your head, nobody else really cares. You know? We'll be fine. All right, so we're going to do 45 seconds of toe taps, and then obviously you're going to go back over to the bar and do three sets of 10. So every time between a set, no rest in between, you're going to go do hat knees. And then I adjusted the weight so that it actually matches, and we're going to really burn it out. So this is my last set here, three sets total. I'm going to do as many reps as I can. So about three of 10, and then we are going to uh, drop that weight, and we're gonna do an extra 15 reps and just really burn those shoulders out. These can go a little bit faster for the last 15. I always feel like that gross guy that's like shirtless in you know, all the movies where like they're playing basketball and then the head hits them and they're just like, oh, like I'm a sweaty big person. That's me. So. <laughs> Alright, we are going to do with laterals. I know that I include laterals a lot, but I swear laterals are what have made all the difference for me. I think at this point I've done thousands of them and there's some variations you can do and I never really get bored of them. Legs, I'm so tired. 
and yeah, but that was one of my favorites. All right, so you're gonna grab a nice heavy weight. So these are about 25 pounds, and we're gonna go 15 halfway up. So you're grabbing a weight that you can still move, but not bring all the way up. So try to go as heavy as you can, and you're just taking it halfway. And then you're gonna drop that weight to a set that you can actually bring all the way up, and you're gonna do an extra 10 reps. So like every other exercise in this, we are going to superset. If you can do 15 reps, push yourself and do 15. And we're gonna do ball tosses. So make sure you're getting underneath that ball, squatting, using your legs to push that ball up, catching it back into that squat, but make sure your hands are underneath. You don't wanna hit yourself in the face and you're throwing it up as high as you can. So whatever wall you can find that you can actually hit and make sure you're pushing yourself and not just doing a little tiny throw. And then back into that heavy drop set. Okay, so now we're going to get into uprights. So make sure your shoulder blades are down and back for this. This is obviously still going to hit traps and your shoulders. I try to reduce my traps by making sure I don't shrug up. We're going to do 15 to 20 reps of these if you can, taking it about mid chest, making sure you're not shrugging. And then you're going to superset that with 25 shoulder jacks. So just like a jumping jack, you can grab a med ball for this or just a pair of dumbbells or a kettlebell, whatever you have near you. And we're just gonna go back to back between those two. I'll be dreaming. I'll be dreaming. I'll be dreaming. All right, last two exercises. So we're gonna do some front cable raises. So we're taking that all the way up. I'm sitting back into my hips a little bit with a slight forward lean. So all the way down and back up, we're gonna do a lot of these. So I'm gonna do about 15 where I'm taking it all the way down and back up. And then you'll see that I'm gonna go into kind of like partial. So not taking it all the way down just to kind of really hit that front shoulder and burn it out for another 15 reps. So you're doing about 30 of these per set and that should burn, you can tell by my face, that these hurt. Then we're gonna go push-ups. So more of like a tricep push-up, shoulders and elbows in, close to your body. Make sure you have those hips down, core nice and tight. You can obviously take these from the knees if you need to. We're gonna do about 10 reps in between those front raises. Whew. All right, guys, we are all done. Look at all the sweat. I'm so gross. I don't think dry shampoo is going to fix these. Actually, maybe it can. I'm not going to say that. Um, I will wash my hair. So I hope you guys had a good workout. I hope that this is useful for you. Let me know what workouts you guys want to see in the future. Hopefully, I know it's Sunday workout, but I totally forgot it was a uh, slipper bow. I, I don't like football. I uh, I think maybe if I grew up here, I would appreciate it. But I just, I try, I try to pay attention and I just, it's like I'm staring at the TV and nothing is like registering in my mind, like of what's going on. Like, not that I don't understand it. I just can't focus. So I'm gonna try to not watch it. My dad's like, come over and I'm just like, no. I need to, I'm gonna sleep the whole time. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this workout. Again, make sure you leave me what you guys want me to do in the future. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you're subscribed. All that good stuff. And I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.